Hi, this is Dan with Hiking the Ozarks, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Mountain Hardware Ultra Lamina 15 degree sleeping bag. This is a um, synthetic sleeping bag inside. It's got a Thermic Micro on the outside, and a little bit different construction on this bag as compared to a lot of bags. Instead of having one full zipper all the way down or two thirds of the way down one side, it's got two zippers, one on each side, dual zippers actually, and they only go down about a third of the way. Um, and the purpose of that was so that you could get in into your sleeping bag. You can see how I've got it zipped down and then I've pulled the bottom zipper up. So you can actually get into this, um, get it all packed around you, you can put your arms through it, kind of be inside the sleeping bag kind of like a Snuggie or something like that where you can read, you can make coffee, you can make hot chocolate in the morning, you never have to get out of your sleeping bag. That's the purpose of this. A um, couple problems that I found with that idea was number one, I always wear a uh, liner on the inside of my sleeping bag to protect it. After I've you know, made my investment, I don't want to, you know, I want to try to protect my sleeping bag as much as possible, so I wear a liner. Well, if you have a liner on the inside, then you got to push the liner down and get it below your arms to be able to get your arms to come through this. And then the, for me, the probably the biggest issue I had with this is it's hard for me to get in and out of the sleeping bag. They only come down about a third of the way, so you got to kind of worm your way in, kind of squeeze in. Um, at six foot two, it's hard for me to get all the way down into the bag. And then inevitably, it seems like in the middle of the night, I've got to get up in the middle of the night and go to a nature break. And then I had to squeeze back out and then squeeze back in in the dark. I don't really like it. I would much rather have the full zipper down one side and not worry about trying to wear a Snuggie in the morning when I'm making hot chocolate or a coffee. The other thing about the sleeping bag, and as you know, if you've watched some of the other reviews, I'm not normally a big fan of synthetic sleeping bags. I just find them cold and, and no, this was the same result in this sleeping bag. Um, I used this down in the Richland Creek Wilderness in Arkansas. In the winter, it was down to around 20 degrees at night, and I was freezing in this bag. In fact, I had to get up in the middle of the night and put a bunch of clothes on just to get myself through the night. I used it several other times in the, in the shoulder season. Um, anytime below about 35 or 40 degrees in this bag, I was cold. So really what I started doing is I, I discovered that if I used it more in the spring and early fall and 50 to 60 degree weather during the day, maybe 45, 50 at night. It worked good for that. But as far as uh, taking this bag out and use it in the winter down to 15 degrees, I think you'll be in a, a sad state if you do that. It's just not warm enough to do that. So um, if you're looking for a, uh, a really good winter bag, I'm not sure this is the bag, but if you're looking for a summer bag or maybe a early spring, uh, late fall kind of bag, you could probably get away with this. Uh, it's not overly expensive, but it's not overly warm either.